Hamtech, welcome to my channel. I'm gonna try and get this working. I've got my DigiPi connected. You can see it on the orange board just here. And I've got my Quashang connected to the universal radio controller. So there's two pins at the front here, and they're going to the Rui here. The, the 2.5 is going to the left one here, and on the right is the 3.5, which is the lower one. So we're going to read down and, and uh, start entering the scripts that G1LRO has entered so we can get all this working. So it says in the write-up, I'm a big fan of the DigiPi uh, packet and APRS utilities with the AIOC or the Universal Radio Controller that you can see. The AIOC is the twin pin device. Yeah, you can see it just above the, uh, the video there. So it says here to make it easier, written a script code. Yeah? Uh, the full code is down at the bottom. Okay. So we're going to do this. So it says here, open shell command on the menu area at the bottom of the list. So this is our DigiPi, which is connected just via the IP address of the DigiPi, and I've made previous videos configuring that. Shell is here. We're going to click that. And then to log in, we use the we use pi and raspberry. So we go, and you can I think you can reset that pi lowercase, and put your own password r a s p b e r r y, enter. So we're in, we're in and we're talking to our DigiPi now, which is this device just here. Okay. Try and keep these close together. So. Let's cut and paste into this, like it says. So we're gonna do the top one, copy. And we press enter after each one, paste. Enter. I'm, I'm gonna ignore the errors because I don't really know what to do if there is an error. Uh, hint, your FTFS tab has been modified. Ooh. Okay, so next one. Thanks, this is a, I've recognized this, copy. Uh, this is an uploading way. Wget means you upload something. So let's just go to that. Click at the bottom. Can I make the bottom go higher? Oh no, but I could probably put the word clear, I suppose. But anyway, I'm not sure. So we're going to copy it. Click that. Right click. Paste. Do as we're told. Wow. Everything's getting uploaded for us. And then I, ch mod. I don't actually know what that does. Please tell me because I want to learn asset, you know, Linux. I'm guessing that might install it, maybe. Um, right click, paste, and then enter. And it says here, after that, then run this command. So is this the, this, this is the command that's going to run it, I suppose. So ch mod, does that take us somewhere in Linux but this is the command that should run it here okay I think so copy the program will run and importantly give information about the serial port identity and we're going to need that later so we're going to click paste and then enter and it's what does it say about the serial port Serial port information for the applications. I can't see it there. Um, LS cannot access DVTTY ACM. No such file or directory. Configure files updated for AOC processor. Reboot DigiPy to write project to SD card. So it looks like we've got to do a reboot according to the SSH instructions. Um, okay, note the information you need, you'll need this later in part two, DigiPi. Uh, we'll cover that application in part two, and there's the, the actual script. Okay, so now let's just reboot it and see, and take it from there. This could be a part one, you know, if we, if we don't get any further. So we're going to do reboot here. And let that reboot and it's saying write current application no that's a separate thing so we let it do its thing 
and I noticed that the the lights went off and came back on on the universal controller so we're back to our control window of the DigiPi so now it says if we turn on the Linux node we should be able to use the URC and the AIOC with DigiPi so we're going to turn that on I don't even know what Linux node is uh, is there any shortcuts here but I think we're ready I think we've done what we're meant to do let's turn on the APRS um, I gate like so and we'll actually turn on the web chat as well we'll tell it to send something well we'll see if it will even go to web chat so we're on web chat ah, it's not going to go I've had this before where it just doesn't want to go I'll select TNC APS web chat and then the idea is that wirelessly you'll connect here try again all right well I think that's enough for now you know with Linux to fault find this with Linux you need to know the commands and what the commands do and what the commands tell you and you need commands to teach so you know how to look for things and look for what's not working properly you need to look at the actual commands as and the history of the commands so it's a learning curve if you if you if you if you've not done Linux then you, you there's lots to learn and but that's the fun of it is that's ham radio for you you're learning all the time and your the enjoyment of learning is is you know is a big part of the ham radio hobby bye for now seven three